to the Pinnacle recipient. Uh, each year, for the last three years, as a, a project of our former chairman, Steve DeBolt, we've established a Pinnacle program where we take applicants from any of our membership, mover members, and they're allowed to submit a, a portfolio of their best practices, of their management practices, marketing, advertising, and sales, customer and vendor relations, and community service. I just want to read some of the selected points of the selected applicant. A commitment to the highest quality service with a goal that expectations are not only met, but exceeded at every level. Positive comments from staff about an environment where employees are respected and valued. ISO 9001 certification and FAME certification are two ways that we demonstrate our commitment to quality. The company was also the first moving company in the United States to be ISO 9001 certified in both domestic and international moving and storage business. Extensive and diverse training programs, an employee wellness program, an environmental purchasing policy, affiliations so vast that I, I can't even list them, but they will bar, FIDI, LACMA, IMA, uh, CMSA, AMSA, IAM, uh, CRN, IFM, BOMA, there's a whole bunch, so I'm just going to leave it at that. A proud tradition in the California moving industry approaching their 40th year in business, a strong member of the CMSA for nearly 35 years, an organization that has produced two former CMSA chairmen, and now here's where we give it away, Robert and David Minnie, and a third CMSA secretary treasurer, Rick Hosea, who is progressing through the chairs of association leadership. After reviewing their application, there are many more things that could be said, but let's just say congratulations to Crown Worldwide Moving and Storage. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, I'd, I'll just say a few brief words, but I'd like two of my team play members to join me on stage because <laughs> Okay, go. Something about this. I'd like to invite Nancy Minnie and George Castro to come up here with me to receive this award. <laughs> you know, I happen to be very lucky when Steve DeBolt brought this idea to the board. And, you know, he was very powerful in, um, in saying that there are a lot of us that do a lot of things right. And he really wanted to find a special way to recognize us as we go through our business practices, and, and he, we, as a board, develop the guidelines. And so it is truly an honor to have been on his board when CMSA accepted this award. And Steve, I, I salute you for that because that was true leadership while you were chairman. And, uh, you know, it, it, no one person can win this award, no one company, without the, the teamwork that goes behind the efforts that you do every day. I mean, it takes complete teamwork. It, it takes staff to buy into the, um, the, the practices in which we try to share with our customers, both our internal and our external customers, because we've really adopted a, a, a measurement where we take in our internal customer, that being the employees in our companies, and, and, and when we found that we treat them as internal customers, we always are able to deliver to our external customers as a result. So. A um, couple of things that we've done that I'm really proud about. Nancy has been key in uh, helping us become uh, green certified. It was a big deal. It was a process that it takes a, a huge commitment of time and effort from staff. Again, no one person could possibly take a company our size and be, make it uh, uh, become green certified. Uh, Nancy continues to develop a newsletter that goes out to our team each month to remind us, not just when we come into our brick and mortar, but when we go home and, and how we manage and conduct ourselves in our, our personal lives, how, how we can make small changes which will impact the footprint for, for many of our, um, our family members for years to come. So we get that from her uh, every month and, and it, it's filled with a lot of value. Uh, the other thing that we did this year in February that I'm extremely proud of, um, Nancy and I started walking because she said, Rick, you need to get away from your desk, you need to get out, and you know. So we started walking and we, we started, we talked in February about how we would like to 
implement a wellness program within our company. And she, you know, I, I kind of talked to her and I said, that that's what some of the things I'd like to do. She said, you should do it. You should make it happen. So we did. We, we uh, made an ad hoc committee within our company and we presented to our CEO, uh, Mr. Robert Bowen, the value of having a wellness or a program in, within our organization. And our goal was very simple. It's very simple. If we change the life of one person, one person within our organization, we deemed that this wellness program would be uh, would, would be a value. And uh, we, we came up with a lot of fun things. We, we're currently in a cross-country race. Our, our entire company's in, engaged in a cross-country race to uh, Key West, Florida. It started in San Leandro, California. I think we're somewhere in uh, Winslow, Arizona right now. But we, we made eight stages along the way so that we could uh, recognize teams within our company. And what it did is we, we took the entire company, separated it up, so that we had people from accounting working with operations, operations with international, uh, operations with sale, and it really was an amazing. I can't. I think Nancy would probably agree that the um, the, the the entire staff has taken this on, and it's very encouraging. We report every Tuesday, and everybody wants to perform well for their company, and uh, so it's made a, a huge impact. So I'm I'm really proud of this team, of. Nancy and, and George Castro and many others that unfortunately were not able to make it here today. But this is something I will definitely share with uh, our entire staff. So thank you, Steve, and thank you, Steve, for this honor.